Keeping this place watered is a full-time job. He's out here multiple times a day, moving it or filling the tanks up with fuel to keep the pumps running. We operate with um, three pivots, but we also have a couple water rills. We've only been using the water rills now for the second season. But they do pretty they do a pretty good job. Especially like on the pivoted fields, we also use them to fill in the um, the sides that the pivot doesn't reach. And then we have this one field out in the front that is a beast but just didn't happen to have a pivot on it, so the water wheels keep it going. Make it a good producer. This is probably the biggest pain, is dragging this hose around. And so this is what he does every single day because for whatever reason we've been in a pattern of zero or at least very little rain. It will be all around us. It will be heading right for us. It'll split, miss us, and then reform and keep going. Thank goodness we have the water reel. Thank goodness we have the pivots. And thank goodness we have a well that keeps supplying. I have no idea how he keeps it to where it overlaps and waters right. Because if I was in charge of this, it would be a big hairy mess. But he's developed the system for himself. If you're doing this by yourself, there's white tapes, white strips on the inside of the reel so that you know when you're down to your last coil of hose around the reel. In other words, when you're getting close to running out of hose. He's getting there. He's got this down to his science. Legs down. Gotta protect my pan 
running out of gas, but it's pretty solid time. We got the, but we got this pump pulling from this little pond. Yeah. since I was a milkman for 15 years and it kept product on the shelf I, I wouldn't run out of fuel but I did actually there's still some in the bottom like I guess my, my, my tube doesn't go all the way to the bottom because it, it's not you know whatever I don't but he's no he hasn't been here yet so I have to go to the store and get fill up my cans today, which what, it's my fault. That's alright. Maybe when you go to the store, you can stop and pick up a, a treat for your wife. <laughs> your peppermint patty, right? <laughs> but that's, uh, oh, we were going to go tie this down. We got to we gotta go tie the greenhouse. Uh, shake cloth. Shake cloth down. 